Or would this a movie about strangers being trapped on a beach where you age an entire year every 25 minutes? Will they get out before they run out of time? Let's find out. The Kappas, a family of four, arrive at a beautiful resort for a family vacation. They are warmly welcomed and are treated like royalty from the moment they arrive. At breakfast, the resort manager personally welcomes them and tells them about an exclusive beach that he only recommends to his favorite guests, but only if they promise to keep it a secret. This was when Trent sees a young boy staring at them, before the manager rushes him away while scolding him. The next day, the Kappas are waiting in a van that will take them to the private beach when Trent discovers a note tucked in his bag. Before he has the chance to read it, another family with a daughter named Kara also gets into the van, as both families are surprised they weren't the only ones invited. They're taken deeper into the island before the driver stops at a drop-off point. The families are handed huge baskets of food, and are told that the beach is only a few minutes walk away after they reach the slot canyon. The group do as they're told, and as they pass through the canyon, they find the most beautiful beach they've ever seen. As the two families settle down, they notice a man sitting alone by the rocks, who they recognize to be a famous celebrity named Brendan. The families settle down as the kids play a game of hide and seek. While hiding, Trent discovers a body having apparently drowned. He cries and runs to his mother. The father of the second family, revealed to be a surgeon, examines the body. The rest of the group realize there is no phone reception at the beach. Brendan begins suffering from intense nosebleeds. As he explains to the group that she was with him, she had gone out for a swim and he was waiting for her to come back. The doctor suspects him, as he shows little signs of remorse. Brendan continues to explain that they're here on holiday for a getaway, because she had been recently diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and he had been diagnosed with haemophilia. This was when two more guests arrive at the beach. The father tells them that there's been an emergency and they need to take the van back. Suddenly, a girl from the second family screams out that she needs help and there's something wrong with her mother. But when they reach the old woman, they realize that she's not breathing. Trying to figure out the best course of action, the families introduce each other to the new arrivals. The mother introduces her kids Maddock and Trent who are 8 and 6, only for the couple to be confused, and asks if this is some kind of joke. To her horror, the mother turns to see that both of her children look as if they're teenagers. Taking advantage of the group's confusion, Brendan makes a dash for the exit, with the doctor running after him. He follows Brendan into a canyon, but that was when the two men begin experiencing an intense cranial pressure in their heads that become increasingly intense, before waking up at the beach with no idea what had just occurred. The group then tries again and again to escape, only to end up passed out on the beach. The group is panicking as they try to figure out what's going on. This was when the doctor slashes at Brendan with a pocket knife, only for the wound to heal immediately. The group begin discussing, and realize that each family is on vacation for a getaway because they were recently diagnosed with a medical condition. Brendan with haemophilia, the lady from epilepsy, the doctor with schizophrenia, and the mother being recently diagnosed with a small benign tumor. They had each won the ticket to the resort through a scratch lottery that came with their medical prescriptions, which means that the organization has access to the medical history. Suddenly, the mother says that she doesn't feel too good, for fainting. The doctor inspects her and finds that the tumor has grown to the size of a golf ball. With no choice and time running out, he takes out his pocket knife and begins to perform an operation there on the beach. However, the insertion heals instantly. They couldn't believe their eyes. They decide to try again, but this time with the group holding open the cut. The doctor was able to take out the massive tumor, as the wound heals instantly. Right as this is happening, Brendan is examining the body of the lady that had passed away, and is horrified to discover that only bones remain. The lady from the second family comments that it should take seven years for a corpse to decompose to bare bones and they've only been on the island for 3 hours, which means that every half an hour, more than one year of their life passes. Then they realize something. It's been a long time since they've seen Trent and Kara. They find the two by the shoreline, gorging themselves into the huge baskets of food. As the parents call out to their children, they realize in horror to discover that the daughter was pregnant. The kids are oblivious to what they've done, as they both have the mental age of 6 years old. The couple tells them that going by their previous calculations, a full pregnancy term would be a mere 15 minutes. She is quickly laid on a beach blanket as the group prepares for labor. A few moments later, the group hears the sound of a baby crying, followed by silence. Time was moving way too fast for something so fragile. The group begins to break down, beginning with the doctor giving in to his schizophrenia and stabbing Brendan multiple times. The guy from the couple volunteers to try swimming outwards to see if escape is possible that way. They notice someone observing them from a distance. A while later, the man's body washes up on the shore. Terrified, Kara begins climbing, but as she gets close to the top, she blacks out and falls to her death. Immediately following this, the girl from the couple has an epilepsy seizure and also dies. Time is running out as night falls. Searching around, the sister unearths a journal buried underground. It recounts the events of another group of tourists, also with various medical issues that were trapped here. 
One of the entries theorizes that aging is caused by the minerals within rocks on the beach. This was when they notice a camera watching them. The doctor is completely out of control and begins attacking the rest of the adults. The two siblings run off into a cave where they discover the lady had gone crazy. She picks up a rock with the intent to throw it at them, only for her bones to crack from arthritis. It quickly heals again but in the wrong position. The woman crawls after them only for her other arm to snap on her weight. The kids run away horrified as she thrashes and breaks more bones only for them to heal immediately. Meanwhile, the father is down on the ground. The wife jumps in front and slashes the crazed doctor on the arm. Due to the rust on the blade, the doctor dies of blood poisoning in seconds. With just the Kappa family left, the parents spend their last moments together gazing at the stars until they pass away into the night. In the morning, the two kids are now in their 50s. With their remaining time, they decide to spend their last moments being kids as they begin building sand castles. The brother suddenly remembers the strange piece of paper he saw in his bag and rushes to get it. After decoding the message, it reads, My uncle doesn't like the coral. The two looks ahead. With nothing left to lose, the two swims ahead where they find an underwater tunnel, but the sister catches her dress on one of the reefs. Desperate, the brother swims back to save her, but he can't tear it off. From a distance, the van driver from before had been observing the group the whole time and sees that the two had not emerged. He signals that the entire group is now deceased and begins heading back to a warehouse in the middle of the jungle full of scientists. The hotel manager calls for a moment of silence for the subjects that gave up their lives in Trial 73. He reminds everyone that from their sacrifices, they've been able to save hundreds of thousands of lives with the drugs they've been able to develop. The drinks given to the guests upon their arrival had been spiked with their experimental medicine, and they are able to conduct decades of research within a single day. With today's trial, they were able to stop epilepsy episodes from occurring for 8 hours with a single dose, which is effectively 18 years in real time. Later at the hotel, the manager welcomes the next batch of families when someone bumps into the complimentary drinks. Looking up, they are shocked to see that the siblings survived and have already called the authorities.